Lesson number three, imprinting and habituation. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain that an animal's earlier experiences in life have a big impact on the way in which it behaves as an adult, and explain that habituation is an important part of the learning process in young animals. Why would a newly hatched duckling follow the cat as if it were one of its parents? It seems a strange scenario. However, young birds will often follow the first moving object they see after hatching. We say that they imprint on the object. Usually, the first moving object a young animal sees is one of its parents. Imprinting on the parent allows the young animal to recognize and follow its parents from an early age. Parents mean food, protection from predators, and even shelter. Imprinting therefore improves the chances of a young animal's surviving beyond the early and possibly dangerous days of their lives. Imprinting is a form of learning. However, unlike other forms of learning, imprinted behavior is not easily changed. The idea is often used in training animals. For example, if a dog's owner becomes imprinted in the young animal's mind, the animal becomes attached to its owner and is much easier to train. The attachment is reinforced by food and the owner's company and becomes permanent. Attachment occurs during a sensitive period early on in an animal's life. Imprinting will not occur outside the sensitive period. This is why it is much easier to train a puppy rather than an older dog. Imprinting not only affects the links between young and parents, but also affects the social behavior of adults. For example, young geese which have imprinted on the ducks, or even humans, might attempt to court and mate with them when older. You might step into the shower only to step out again quickly. The water's too hot. But you want your shower. You know the hot water won't harm you, so you try again and again until you step in and you're comfortable. The temperature of the water hasn't changed, but you've got used to it. Getting used to a stimulus which you avoid to begin with is called habituation. For example, if you buy a coat to keep warm, at first the coat might seem heavy on your body. However, you soon get used to it and don't think about its weight anymore. Habituation means that you no longer respond to the weight of the garment. Habituation is a form of learning which enables animals not to waste time and energy responding to stimuli which might be alarming to begin with, but are not harmful. For example, birds fly away when they first see a scarecrow standing in the middle of a field of crops. However, they soon learn that the scarecrow is harmless and ignore it when they return to feed, much to the farmer's annoyance. Yeah.